So hey guys, so today I'll be explaining a small mini project and thing uh, which I have made today. So it's a to do using XEOs and basically uh, Heroku server. So let's jump into it. So this is my final output as you can see. Uh, I can add the to do's here and these are like done and not done thing. And if I do done, then it will be it will be on the pending. Uh, I mean, if it's completed, then it will come into completed side. And if it's not, then it will be on the pending side. So if I do again, not done again, then it will be on the completed side. My pending site is is empty now. So these are the pagination thing. Like for example, if you are clicking on the next. So this is the final outcome. Let's say how to approach this. So first, I'll be discussing the adding feature. These are the all the features I'll be explaining. So first feature is adding. So let's say how to add something. So here for uh, so as I have as I have already told uh, told that I have used Axios. So you have to for that you have to install the Axios as well, and you have to import. So this is the uh, this is the main function that is fetching the data. Okay. So Axios dot get as you know. And what I'm doing is this, and this is the get to do's set to do's, and it it is in it is an empty array. And what I'm doing is I'm just updating this to my res dot data. My res dot data will be an object, and inside that my data will will be an array. So what I'm doing, I'm just setting the data. And dot cache, these are and the finally I've also used a loading indicator as well. So it is. I mean, I think you can see. So as you refresh, you will see the loading indicator as well. So this is just a image, so no, no need to worry. So we can, uh, for now, we can just uh, ignore this. Thing. So after that, if I go to add to do's, so how how can we add the to do's? So for to do's, basically we need an object, isn't it? I mean, certainly we need an object. So axios.post and we are just, now how we are getting the objects so what i have done is i've just made so let's go to the function this is my add to do's as you know as i've repeated that it will accept an object and it will just post the object into my uh, data okay and again i have to call the get to do's because after you post and you need to again fetch the data right from the json server so let's see how to add so this is my add function so what it will accept it will accept a text and it will just make an item that is an object. So by default, my status is false. And if I, for example, I'll be explaining those, I mean, how to make it true or something. So what I'm making, I'm just, and then I'm just passing add to do's and my object inside it. And there's my add to do's, it will just accept an object. And now I'll be getting the, getting the object here. So let's see how to do it. So this is my add to do. So what it is doing, I'm just passing the uh, the function inside it, okay? So I have made the add to do's here. Okay, so uh, these flex and input, this is basically Chakra UI. I, have, uh, I haven't wrote the CSS and all. I've just uh, simply used the Chakra UI, okay? As a UI lab. So no need to worry about it. So these are the, this is the, I've just imported the handle add from here. And what I'm doing is I'm just, dealing with the input box so this is the input box what it will give me an event an event dot target dot value it will just give me the value that i am entering in the input box okay so as soon as i submit so what i need to do i have just getting this i have i have defined a state state and inside this text my value will be there right so what i need to do is handle add i have just i want to just invoke this and just pass the text here Right, my text will be my value that will be coming from my input box. And as soon as I click on the web button, what I need that my handle ad should invoke with the text in it. So this text will be going into my todo.jsx here. Uh, where is this? Yeah. So this text will be coming from at todo.jsx. Okay. And it will be just making the object. So, and the add todos will just simply make an, will, will just simply invoke with the help of object and this will come here okay so add to those is adding this it is uh, done right so the next thing is toggling because i have made because my status is by default false 
So I have to toggle as well, isn't it? So the, that I have shown you that, for example, if I'm clicking on uh, done, it will, it will just uh, invoke the, I mean, it will just uh, update the status as this thing, okay? So what I am uh, what I'm doing, I'm just writing a function that is handle toggle. What it will accept for patch request, I need ID and the status, right? So I, what I'm doing is exos.patch, I've just passed the URL and the ID. So I'm just hitting that particular, I mean, object that I need, okay? So after that, what I'm doing, I'm just simply getting the status and whatever the status is, I'm just reversing it by the not operator. And then again, the same thing, I'm just, uh, the get to do should, should go, get called again and the catch error, okay? So this handle toggle will need ID and status. Okay, we know that. Okay, handle to toggle will need an ID as well as the status. So where is my handle toggle? Let's see. Okay. So as you have seen that, for example, if I'm if I'm clicking on the status, so it is going into my pending. So for example, if it is not done, then it will go inside the pad, inside the pending. And if it's not, then uh, if it's completed, then it will be uh, inside this. I mean, inside the completed stars, right? So what I'm doing, I'm just writing one, one, uh, one simple function that, for example, if it's filter, for example, if, if it is false, my EL dot status is false, then it will definitely be pending, right? So what I am doing, I'm just, I'm just mapping through it and then making a to-do list. So my to-do list is basically my, this object, right? I mean, this whole thing, this is a to-do list. So what, what it will do in the to-do list, I am just sending EL dot status, EL dot, I mean, individual, everything I need. Handle toggle as well as handle delete. I will discuss the handle delete later. So handle toggle, I am just sending this. So handle toggle, we have uh, we have seen that handle toggle will, needing, will be needing ID as well as the status. Okay, let's say what is happening in the uh, to-do list. So to-do list, will we will be, we will be catching these values, handle toggle and status and title, right? So we, what we are doing is the heading will be the title that, for example, what is whatever you are putting, uh, I mean, the the input value box, that will be my title, right? And the button is my button, handle toggle. So what I'm doing, I'm just passing the these ID. So for example, as soon as someone clicks on my toggle, it will just target that ID, that specific ID and the status, whatever the, the present status is. And this is actually color scheme is just a simple, I mean, for example, if I'm clicking that, that color thing change, changes. So for, for example, if it's, if it's, if it's true, then just simply make it green. Otherwise it make it red. So it is just a simple, I mean, uh, it, the, uh, what I could say, if else statement. So yeah, so inside the button, button thing, I need to, I need to update as well, isn't it? So if my status is true, then it will show done. Yeah. Otherwise it will show not done. So my handle toggle, I am invoking, okay, handle toggle will get the status, the specific status and the ID. So I am sending this ID and the status right here, right here. So what it will do, it will, it will take that ID, it will take that status, make it false, and then again, put that in that, uh, I mean, uh, it will just update the status of that, of that particular, uh, list okay so my toggling is okay done now let's see how to delete okay so in the delete as you know delete will be needing just an id right so what i'm doing delete and just passing the id so how will i get the id and it is the same only so because i have to after de after deleting something i have to fetch again right so i'm just doing dot then. and i need the id so how can i get the id delete id right I'm just passing the function and in the in the to do to do list i'm just i'm just catching that and i'm just hitting that particular id okay and color scheme is just a, I mean, CSS program. so this just a id and i am i am invoking the handle to delete from here okay so deleting is deleting the id okay it's done now sorting how can i how can we sort this thing okay so as you as you have said, I mean, I've just uh, made a simple logic. There might be many approaches as well for the sorting, but in JSON server, we we have the particular as you will see in the documentation. Right, uh, 
reference to the thing. Yeah. So in the documentation, you will see that. Yeah, you will get the how to write the sort in the in the JSON server, right? It is ASC actually. Some some of the versions it is capital ASC. So I have used capital ASC because ASC was not working. I mean small ASC. So that's why. So what I am doing is update sort. So I have written a state for the. I have written a separate state. Yeah, separate state for it. So initially, my by default, initially it will be ascending ASC. And what I am doing, I'm just doing that, for example, update sort. So if my sort by is as soon as someone clicks on my uh, handle sort, so what it will do, it will just uh, update the sort by. So if it's uh, ASC, it will make DESC, else it will remain to be ASC. So my sort by is now, if it, if it was ASC, my DESC has to be passed to the get to do's, right? So in the get to do's, I'm just passing sort by. Okay, this, this thing. Right, sort by. So is it is my props and props by default, I'm giving this ASC, I think without ASC also it will work because I have already given the ASC. So this is the props and I'm just passing the props. Up. So order will be by ASC or DESC. Okay, so okay, sorting is done. Then pagination. Then how can we paginate something? So in this example, I have just hard coded the pagination. But let's see how to. Okay, so this is my two types of. I mean, I mean pagination. I have done. So uh, the the first one is the like simple like next or previous. So what it will do is it will just invoke the previous and it will just make previous minus one for the previous example. And the for the next example, it will do plus one, right? And yeah, so this was the thing. And the page page state will will change, right? And what I'm doing, I'm just simply uh, okay, yeah. Oh, what was the, I have written, I think, something thing. okay, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just defining the, uh, the, I mean, in the sort by what I have to do is every time, every time I, I, the sort by and the page state changes, I need to call the use effect again and then, right? So as soon as my page, uh, page changes, I need to call the use effect. As soon as my sort by changes, I need to call the use effect. Again. So there are some cases you will think that okay we need we don't need use effect but the thing is without using the use effect until and unless you don't update the the ui for example if you are not until and unless you are not entering something in the input box and submitting that you don't get the previous data right but what what happens with the use effect hooks that it will always run for the first time i mean the first re render so at that point we need the user use effect hook, right? So that's right. So page, as soon as my page page data changes, I mean the I have just passed the page here, page for the this is also given in the documentation as well. So you can check that out. I think yeah, there's the there's the documentation. So you can check that out also. Okay. So yeah, there's the page changes. As soon as my page changes, my use effect will also change. Okay. So pagination and the different type of pagination is like making multiple pages i mean one two three four five six as we have seen seen here uh, yeah this thing as we have seen here so if i'm clicking to the two it will again fetch the second that thing i mean the second page data right so what i've done done i've just make a another component called pagination i'm just passing total total how how many pages i need i mean i'm just hard coding the data because i don't have the uh, data right now the dynamic data but i i will try, try to make it dynamic in the later stage so i'm just hard coding for now and the current page will be the page that i have i mean you can see the page the page data page state is this and the on change i have just passed the passed a function so for it will take a value and it will what it will do it will just set page the value so let's see what is the pagination just remember this thing that on change will take a value and it will just set page that value okay so let's see what happens in the page engine okay 
we're just making a new array. It is a static array. So I'm making array of 10 elements because in the JavaScript, you know, uh, we don't have to define the array size, right? So here we are making an array site. This is a constructor, new, as you can see, and there's a class function we can. So by this fill by zero, I have initially filled zero with it and I've just mapped to it. So mapping through it, I have just created a button. So colors can be, it is just a CSS. Okay, key, I need a key, key prop, right? So in the on click, what I'm doing, I am just invoking this with the I plus one. So on change, we have repeat, we have told, we have did, I mean, discussed that on change will take a value and it will just set the, set page the value. I mean, just update the value with this, right? So on change will take a value. As soon as, this will be my previous, as you can see here in the todo.jsx. This will be I plus one. And what it is doing, I plus one equal to set page will be I plus one, right? So you can see I've done this. Okay. And the disable value, because I am, wherever I am clicking, that page should be disabled, right? So it is I plus, because it is a zero based index. So I've just done I plus one. So in the button, inside the button, it will be I plus one, right? And what I have done, because it will give me multiple buttons, I have just used a flex by the Chakra UI and just uh, done that thing on the pages. And this is just a gap. So yeah, I think uh, these were the properties, I think. Yeah, pagination done, uh, sorting done, and delete done, toggling done, adding done. I think we can add, uh, I think, uh, a filter as well. But yeah, I think uh, today I have not done the filter. But yeah, I'll make a video for that as well okay thanks thanks a lot